Good afternoon Year 1s. I thought it'd be a nice idea for us this afternoon to have a recap of some of the things we've been learning this term and we're going to play some fun games as well together. So let's start off with recapping our oceans and continents. So we're going to sing our two songs that we know very well and then we're going to play a game and see if we can label the continents and the oceans. About 70% of the surface of the earth is ocean water And it's divided up in five parts from biggest to smallest Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic I'm the Pacific to be specific I'm a third of the Earth's surface where my turf is and my Mariana Trench is the very, very deepest in the sea And I'm the Atlantic named after the Greek god Atlas with the Bermuda Triangle and the Gulf Stream in me I'm the Indian Ocean I'm the warmest around is found And I'm the Arctic The smallest and the shallowest But that's fine, you see I've got more ice than you've ever seen Even polar bears walk on me We're the Pacific Atlantic Indian Southern Arctic Pacific Atlantic Indian Southern Arctic One more time Pacific Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic Brilliant, super singing. Let's do our continent songs now. is split up into continents there are seven in all and if you get the gist we're gonna make a list from biggest to small they are asia africa north and south america antarctica europe and finally australia asia africa north and south america Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Hey, my name is Asia, and more than half of the world lives here, but whatever. And I am Africa with desert for miles, and my Nile is the longest river. North America, start down in Panama, wide open spaces all the way to Canada. I'm South America with animals below where the rainforest grows, cause the rain really pours. I'm on board for God, I'm totally ours. And I'm Europe, you're welcome for the pasta, pizza, waffles, and fries. I am Australia, some call me Oceania. I got a lot of islands, too many to explain to ya. We are Asia, Africa. North and South America, Antarctica, Europe, and finally Australia. Well done. Okay, now we've had a little warm up. Let's see if we can remember our continents and our oceans. So we're going to play on busy things. So our job is to label all of the continents and all of the oceans they're listed down the side um, my video might be in the way of the oceans so I'm going to read them out to you Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, Pacific and Southern okay so let's start with labelling our continents so the first one we have is Africa. Africa Africa can you point to Africa on the screen for me see if you can find Africa Okay, I'm 
going to drag Africa to where it should be. See if you got it correct. Africa. And this one is Africa. Okay, next we have Antarctica. Antarctica. Can you point to Antarctica for me? So Antarctica is down the bottom here. Okay, next we have Asia. Asia. Can you point to Asia? Remember, this is the biggest continent. Here is Asia. Next we have Australia. Australia. Can you point to Australia for me? Remember, this is the smallest continent. So Australia is here. Super. Europe. Next we have Europe. Can you find Europe for me? That's the continent that we live in. So here is Europe. Next we have... North America. North America. Can you find North America? North America. All the way over here. And our last continent is South America. Can you find South America? Point to it on the screen for me. South America. And here is South America. Super. Now on to our ocean. So first, can you find the Arctic Ocean for me? The Arctic Ocean. Where do you think it is? Do you think it's here, 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 or here? Hmm. Where do you think it is? Arctic. So the Arctic Ocean is up here at the top. Oh, well, next we have Atlantic. Atlantic. Where do you think the Atlantic is? Atlantic. Can you point to it on your screen for me? So the Atlantic is here. We have the Atlantic Ocean um, surrounding our country. Okay, next is the Indian Ocean. Do you remember the Indian Ocean? It's the warmest ocean. ocean. See if you can find it on your screen. Where do you think the Indian Ocean is? Indian. The Indian Ocean is here. Okay, next we have the Pacific. Pacific. Where is the Pacific Ocean? Can you find it for me? Pacific. So, the Pacific is here and here. Okay, so our last ocean is the Southern Ocean. Southern Ocean Southern is down the bottom here. Super job. Let's check that we got them all right. Well done, everybody. Super job. You have remembered all of your continents and your oceans. Perfect. Okay. Next we are going to, oh, let me decide. I think we'll practice our days of the week and months of the year because it's really important that we learn those. Okay. So days of the week song. Oh, I know you love this one. Let's practice singing this together. Kids, here is a fun song to help you learn the days of the week. Mother Hen is going to sing it for us. Let's listen. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Repeat. 
repeat after Mother Hen. Here we go. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, the days of the week. Great job. Now, let's sing it quietly. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, the days of the week. Well done. Now let's try it really loud. Monday. Let's sing it really fast. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. singing well done everybody maybe as a challenge you could see if you could write all of the days of the week in the correct order in your home school book that would be amazing because by the end of year one that's a really useful skill for us to have is to be able to write all of the days of the week also it's good for us to know the months of the year so let's practice our months of the year song that we all know really well okay ready Hi kids, do you know the months of the year? Here's a song to help you remember all 12 months. Mother Hen is going to sing it for us. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, let's sing along with Mother Hen. Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Great job! Now, let's sing it quietly. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Fantastic! Now, let's sing it really loud. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Outstanding! Now that you know the song, let's try it really fast. Are you ready? Here we go. January,
love that song. That's really good, that song. Okay, let's do our days of the week then, ordering. So I need your help for this. Okay, so it's on busy things again. So we've got all of the days and they're all jumbled up down the side here. So some of them might be covered, so I'm going to just read them out to you. We have Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Wednesday, Sunday, Tuesday and Monday. That's not the right order, is it? So our monster in the middle says, label the segments of the circle with the days of the week clockwise in the correct order. So do you remember which way clockwise is? Do I to go round to the left or do I go to the right? So it's the same direction the hands of a clock move, isn't it? So it's to the right. So this is clockwise. So we need to start with the first day, which is, what's the first day of the week? The first day of the week that we come to school is Monday. Good, can you point to Monday? See if you can find it on the list. Monday. Monday, here's Monday. Okay, now we're gonna put Monday oh, at the top here. Okay, what comes next? Monday, Tuesday, good. Tuesday, can you see Tuesday or is my face covering it? Tuesday, here. Tuesday. Down here. All of these words, all of these days, they all have the A sound at the end, don't they? Which we learnt in phonics. So Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, what would come next? Is it Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Wednesday or Sunday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, good. Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what's next? Thursday, can you find Thursday for me? It has a th at the beginning. Super. Thursday. Thursday is next. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What's next? Friday. So which one has a th for Friday? Can you point to it for me? Good, the one at the top, Friday. Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Point to Saturday for me. Saturday. S -a -t -a -d -a. Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Good, and so our last day of the week is Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, s a n d a Sunday. Let's check it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's check we've got them correct. Well done. Perfect. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's try ordering the months of the year. This one's a bit trickier. So label the segments of the circle with the months of the year clockwise in the correct order. So remember clockwise is going round to the right. Okay. Um, the same direction as the hands of a clock. So our months of the year we have here are July, November, May, October, February, June, August, April, December, March, January and September. Oh, they're all in a muddle. So think back to the song that we've just sung. What was the first month of the year? January. 
January. See if you can find January. So you need to find a month that has a j, j, j for jelly at the beginning. J, a, n, January. January, can you find it and point to it for me? January. January, good. So I'm going to pop this one ooh, at the top here. Okay, so what will come next? January, February. Can you find February? Where is February? You need to find a month that has the sound at the beginning. February, good. February. February. January, February. What's next? January, February, March, good, March, m arch, March, that's a nice easy one to sound out there. March. January, February, March, what's next? April, can you find April for me? April, where is April on our list? April, super job. April. January, February, March, April. What comes next? January, February, March, April. May, super job. See how our, our songs help us to remember, don't they? May, can you find May? M A, it's got our new A sound in it. That's a nice easy one to sound out too, isn't it? May. January, February, March, April, May. What's next? June. Can you find J J June? And we've got a J month here and a J month here. Which one is correct? June. I can hear a N. So it must be this one. June. June. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. 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 January, February, March, April, May, June, July. What's next in our summer? August. August. That's our summer holiday month, isn't it? August. August has August. Um, a tricky spelling in that we've not learnt um, yet, which is an A and a U, which make an or sound. Or August. Okay, what's next? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Can you find September in our list? Which one says September? It has a S sound at the beginning. September. Good. September. Okay, say the months with me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. What's next? October. October. Off, off for October. October. Oh, we've got two left. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That's when we have Guy Fawkes Night, isn't November. it? November. November. And what's the last month of the year? It is December, when we have Christmas and New Year's Eve. December. December. Okay, let's check them together. January, February, March, April. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Let's check we got them right. Brilliant job. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to 
gonna have a quick go of naming the 3D shapes and then we're gonna play a length game. So let's see if you can remember your names of your 3D shapes. You should be expert at these now. Okay, so we've got all of our shapes here. Oh, there's a couple of extra ones thrown in there that we've not actually um, learnt. So this will be a bit tricky. We've got cone, cube, cuboid, cylinder, hemisphere. Oh, there's a little clue in that name. Prism, pyramid and sphere. Okay, shall we start with the ones that we know really well? So what's this one called? You should be an expert at this one. This is a... Cylinder, good. Now, a cylinder is actually spelt with a letter C, which makes a s sound, doesn't it? That's a bit funny. So, cylinder. Cylinder. Good. What's this shape here? A sphere. Sphere. Can you find the name that says sphere and point to it for me? Sphere. Sphere, good. Pyramid. Oh, it's not pyramid. We need sphere. sphere. That's better. Ooh, what's this shape here then? It is a pyramid. 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 Oh, and what's this one then? That's a nice, easy one that we all remember. A cube. Which one says cube? Can you point to it for me? Cube. Good. Cube. Oh. Cube. Ooh, so what's this one then? It's a bit longer. It's similar to a cube. Isn't it? It's got the same number of faces and the same number of vertices and edges, but it's slightly longer, so that means it must be a cuboid. Can you find the name that says cuboid? Super job. Cuboid. Okay. Now, the next one is a shape that we've not actually discussed. Um, this is called a hemisphere and the clue is in the name. Can you see it says sphere? Sphere. It means it's half of a sphere. Can you see it's round at the top like a sphere. Can you imagine a sphere cut in half? That's called a hemisphere. Can you say that? Hemisphere. Hemisphere. Good job. And I'm going to finish on the cone because you won't be able to see the last shape very well. So, um, can you spot the label that says cone? Cone, and can you point to it for me? Cone, we're good at that one, aren't we? Cone. We remember our ice cream cone for that one. Well done, everybody. Super 3D shapes. Now, I'm just going to finish by having a little length quiz. We've done lots on length this term, haven't we, with our aliens? Okay. So, which giraffe is the tallest? Can you point to the tallest giraffe for me? So it was A. Good. Which man is shorter than the others? Is it A? B or C? It's B. Good. <coughs> Choose the monster which is half the height of the tree. Oh, this is quite tricky. Which monster is half the height of the tree? Is it A, B or C? Look carefully. It's A. Good job. <coughs> Click on the donut, which is double the size of this one. 
Ooh, look at the one the monkey's holding. Which one do you think is double the size? Is it A, B, or C? Can you point to the correct one? Which one is double the size? It's A, isn't it? The other ones are smaller, aren't they? Okay, who is holding the longest stick? Is it A, the chicken, or B, brown monkey? Who is holding the longest stick? That's a nice easy one, isn't it? It's the chicken. Okay, true or false? Judy has the shortest hair out of Rachel, Judy and Sally. So here's Judy, here's Rachel and here is Sally. Judy has the shortest hair. Is that true or false? It's true, isn't it? She's got the shortest hair. Which two pictures show rocks which are double the size of Parrot's Rock? Look at Parrot's Rock. Is it A, B, C or D? Which two are double the size? Is it A? No. Is it B? I think so. And which other one is double the size? Is it C or D? It's C, isn't it? Great job. Can you find the two ties which are half the length of cats? Half the length. Look at cats, which are half the length. Have a look. This one's really short. Is it A, B, C or D? This one's really, really long. Which two do you think are half the length? B and D, good. And our last question, which door can the giraffe walk through? Ooh, look at these different shaped doors. Is it A, B or C? Look at the shape of our giraffe. Which one do you think? It needs to be the same shape, let's see. If it's C, Super job. Let's see if we got them right. Nine out of nine. One hundred percent. Perfect. Well done, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed playing busy things and singing your songs today. Well done. Super duper learning.